spot lock it right here. Oh, I got him! I got him! I got him! Welcome back to the channel, everybody, and good morning. A glorious morning. I'm surrounded by deer, y'all. Absolutely surrounded by them. There's a, there's a mama and her fawn. There's a little bug that, uh, he's, you know, they're all still in velvet out here. He's just a spike. He's just walking around. There's another fawn I see. You know, they still got their, their spots. They're just looking at me while, while, you know, I'm getting ready to get the bass boat prepared to go give it a good old outdoor dangle out here. Man, if you guys watched the last video, you know that I have fished this lake in the past. It's been many years, but uh, this is a place that I used to come camp, and it was, I just remember it being really cool. I don't remember this many deer being out here, but whew, they've had a population explosion, and a population explosion on the smallmouth as well. Last night, we ended up sleeping in the truck, and it actually worked out pretty good. I laid out my pad in here, and uh, my truck has these vents, these windows open entirely, so they'll, they slide all the way open. However, it was still very, very much steamy in there, and I've been up since like 4.30, just, you know, ready ready to get up and go fishing because I was just sweating. While we're up this early, we should definitely take advantage of that possible topwater bite that might be with us. I got to see a little bit of the topwater action yesterday. I mean, just had one of the coolest topwater eats ever. So I'm hoping to get on some of those crazy smallmouth again and go explore more of the lake. So we're gonna go see if we can find some more spots, find some more outdoor greatness. But it's already off to a good start. All that's missing is a good hot cup of coffee, a little steamer out here in the morning. Yee, baby. Oh, that, that deer's taking a dump over there. <laughs> what a shot. That'd be shot of the year. Come on, everybody, let's roll out to the lake. Dump it on in, start the motor and get on going on day. Greatest thing about mornings, I'm always in a good mood in the morning when I'm going fishing. Well, there's no boo-boos yet in the day. It's just you and the fish. You haven't even got a backlash yet. You know you fish a lot when you're just holding a DSLR camera in one hand and just back of the boat in with the other. It's looking good. Yeah, just a little floater. Oh, I missed my step. I missed my step on my old skeeter. The old man step. I've never actually been up early enough to see my electronics start off in night mode. That's pretty cool. You don't even have to switch anything. Y'all, I'm ready to roll. Let's get it. Woo, baby! Okay. You ever just have a bank that speaks to you? I was planning on going further than this, and then I just said, this bank is just, it's talking to me. Wouldn't you know it, big old boulder divvies right on this bank. Oh my gosh, freaking smallmouth or something, trying to blast it, got him. First cast of the day, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and tap it. And it is the skinniest smallmouth of all time. <laughs> oh my. That is a Texas bullet smallie. Oh, don't you do that with that top water in my hand, sir. My gosh. Got you out, okay. The attempts, did you see how many attempts happened on that? I know y'all can't see this boulder, but 
mean, it just got right over the top of it. And he said, I, I need that in my face. I'm hoping there's just like a random, like a maverick four pounder on one of these boulders that'll come up and play in the low light. This water's warm, what is it, 82 degrees? Jeez, I think they definitely like this walking style. I was gonna start off with a popper, but I can cover more water with this. So I think I'm just gonna stick with that. This is a really cool color, y'all. This is a cracked up color, but top waters are always tricky. They, they like a, you know something shad flavored, but sometimes they'll get a little close to it in clear water and they'll shy off of it for some reason. Maybe they've seen a hundred of them or whatever. So I like this little broken up profile. I also like uh, black, just plain old black sometimes because they can't really figure out what it is. It's just a silhouette. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Sunrise, bass boat with a rooster tail coming in hot, about 62, come on now. Whip it on out there and twitch it over this boulder. God. I'm a happy camper, literally. Oh my gosh, what in the world? <laughs> Holy smallmouth. Dude, hopefully the camera started rolling for that shot. Oh my God. Yo, what an explosion. Oh my gosh. Oh, these things have had their coffee and they're ready to go to work. That is what I'm talking about. God, I was up there a little shallower. Mm. Come here, buddy. Get that out of you. That's, whoo. Look at this. Morning light, small mouth, whoo, baby. Oh, man. Oh, this is fun, holy cow. Oh, God, I was up there kind of shallow. My line just started oh screaming gosh. after he took oh. off. I mean, wow, that was cool. Oh, man. Well, they're just in those little tight, focused areas. I'm gonna idle over to the other side. Crack a cold one. Maybe get a bite of my sausage from last night. Hmm. So cool having that refrigerator on the boat. Y'all see that? I don't think it was bass. I can already tell you this bank, I don't think it has enough depth. I'll work this next 50 yard stretch and then we'll know. I need like 20 feet of water, real close. I'm just gonna go ahead and recognize that fact early so I can stay on them fish. Oh God, there's bass freaking exploding over there. Exploding top water style for no reason. What is happening out there? There must be some tree out here that fish are sitting in and some shad got pushed up to the surface. That was getting pretty close there. Oh, that's a good size fish. Freaking come on, oh my gosh. Spot lock it right here. I think that fish is sitting in a tree over deep water. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Oh, baby. Oh, that's a little one though. That's a little one. That's not the one I saw. Are you going to have any friends? No. 
largemouth out there in the open waters. Okay, let's anchor it right here. Let's see if I can hit that spot again. I know there's somebody else out there. Oh yeah. So I can see there's a tree and then there's one, two, three, four. Looks like five fish sitting there. I'm gonna rotate, see if I can see it a little bit better. Here we go. Okay, so it's out here 25 feet in front of me. I'm having trouble getting bit in these trees, y'all. I thought that was gonna be the juice. I mean, I could see them in there. I had the largemouth come up way out of the tree. You need my top water. You know, at the bottom of the tree was like 30 foot. I was thinking, I'll just get a little worm down there and just clean them up. It's not happening though. The top water seems to be working really well. I don't think I'm gonna take that off. I've had better luck around the rocks. I, I know the trees are good. I just, I'm missing something. I'm missing something that's gonna help me catch those fish. I don't know what it is yet. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to go explore the lake now. I think the morning, you know, feed is, is probably over. So I'm just gonna run and see what banks are looking good, see what areas have good rock transitions, boulders, trees, whatnot, and just go see more of the lake that I haven't seen in many years and then try to find some spots that I've never fished before. I just stopped at an area where the sun is still behind the wall right here. So I'm getting some extra shade and I'm just gonna use my polarized lenses to look for any boulders that are sticking out. Work the old toppy top for a little bit longer. Oh my gosh. Oh dude, that looked like a big splash. Don't come off right there in that little shade pocket. Oh yeah, she's pulling now. Oh yeah, small mouth explosions. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was bigger, but dude. Aggressive. Beautiful small mouth right there. And just got all of it. Woo! Heck up. God, fear for my life. Topwater treble hooks and smallmouth. Man, mean. Well, I tell you what, that is, a, that is a hard bite to get off of. Once you experience it, it's just like, it's like a frog hit. When a largemouth just slurps a frog, it's like, woo. I think I could throw this for another couple hours without a bite. Or something chasing it. What was that? A bluegill. As soon as I got around some shade and rocks. Oh my gosh. There we go. Another random smallie. this one gonna be oh this one's pulling this one's pulling really good now oh god it got off as a big one shoot oh man it started really pulling drag right there at the end What's this one gonna be? ah dad gummit ah man oh, this i had my drag loose that's just one of the unfortunate things about fishing braid and top waters. Got to take them easy. That was just one of those maverick biggins. It's about as big as a small mouse as I'm gonna catch out here. Ned time. Ned time. Little juju bee, a little deeper. 
pale colored. And it is a doinker in the deeps. Wow, wasn't wasn't rolling for that. Okay. Well, I just caught one on top water. Off the boulder, middle of middle of the sunlight. Pretty much just talked to talked to the camera for a couple minutes. And realized it wasn't on. Yeah. Aren't those little caves up there just crazy, y'all? Just think about what used to live in there back in the day. This area of Texas is just full of limestone. And I've run up to a part of the lake I've never been to, and there's just these like sheer cliffs of these caves and just these giant limestone walls. It's really cool, but the fishing sucks. The fishing sucks. I'm gonna fish this one last stretch here because I see some boulders. Let's see if I can come up with something, and if not, I am going to take it back to the treehouse. I had an exciting morning, but I know right now it's gonna be just a grind. It's gonna be a grind to get these fish. They're all moving out deep, starting to lock down. It's just getting tougher and tougher to catch them. So anyway. Oh, it wouldn't be a video unless I fell in my, my own boat. Oh, boulder candy. Oh gosh, what a hit. Oh, you're kidding me. You gotta be side swiping son of a biscuit. I mean, just boom. There's two bites right there. Very odd. Like hard hits on the rattling net. Normally they don't let go of that. It's so small. Man, I got hung in something. Ah, I don't wanna show y'all. They all that live in Texas and some of these other states that are starting to get these things now zebra mussels the lakes come down and you can see these rocks are full of them right here that's what they look like and they are sharp 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 notice on a couple occasions on this fishing trip my line was just cut easily and that's why it's because of the zebra mussels they, they nick your line makes the water clear because they're filter feeders but they can clog up pipes and they can cause damage in marina areas and uh, municipalities, you know, uh, places that are that are using pipes and sewers, uh, and they can be annoying for boat owners that keep their boats in the water. So always want to make sure you don't have any of those in your live well. In your, it usually won't get them if you don't, you know, if you're taking your boat in and out. But you know, if you're like keeping your boat here overnight or something, and some of them uh, attach, I don't know. Always just want to check because. They're nasty and they're spreading everywhere in Texas. All right, y'all, we are going to take it on in. We are ending our day next to the deer again. They're just out here roaming around dozens of them, just being peaceful deer, just sitting in the shade. And I've been sitting in the shade cleaning up the boat. This place has terrible water spots. Everything is cleaned, drained, and dry. And I, I just used, uh, I think this stuff is called boat sauce, something like that. Boat sauce? I, I don't know. Just took a microfiber towel and rinsed off uh, or sprayed down and then wiped off all the water spots. It takes them right off, it's really easy. I've actually been trying to keep the silver bullet clean and I've been doing a decent job of it. Keeps it nice and sparkly when it's cruising down the road. Our morning dangle started off extra special. There's something about sleeping next to the water where you just, there's no rush or anything. You just, I mean, it's just easy breezy and then all of a sudden you just get on bites and had that top water thing going again, lost a magnum. And then it got tough and I had to make sure I was fishing on those boulders. Big rocks this time of year. Fish just, I mean, I could see bluegill on them. You know, there's large mouth, there's small mouth. They're just living on those big rocks. Look at this little feather treble over here uh, hanging out of the side. I mean, I am not used to having long hair. That's interesting. Thank you, Fishing Freaks, for tagging along on all these fishing adventures. I'm going to sign it off. Peace be with you in all of your outdoor adventures, and I'll see you soon.